you know, when we're talking to someone, one of the first questions is, is there reliable internet, right? You cannot move an organization or a group of employees anywhere in the world if there's not reliable internet, right? And so, yes, we have a solution for that. Hi, thank you for joining us for another edition of Bravo Talks. We're coming to you today from Twin City, that's right, St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. And I'm joined by two guests. I have with me Dion Ben Marshall, Director of Commercial Operations at Bravo. And I have Mr. Eric Saunier, who is the Director of Business Attraction and Entrepreneurship at the University of the Virgin Islands Research and Technology Park. Guys, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So Eric, I'll start with you because you have quite a large portfolio and I'd like to understand what your career path and your professional journey was that led to you picking up the position that you do now. Um, before moving to St. Croix, I was an entrepreneur. So I started a couple different technology-based businesses, um, one out in the Bay Area, one in Austin, Texas. And so my, my background has been an operator and entrepreneur, really in the tech space. And so when you guys asked me to come speak you know, as I think about Brava and the solutions that you provide, it just made a ton of sense for me. When we moved here to the Virgin Islands, like I said, roughly, roughly five years ago, um, I joined the Research and Technology Park, University of the Virgin Islands Research and Technology Park. Uh, my role there is both business attraction and running entrepreneurship programs. So the goal of the Research and Technology Park is to find companies based in the U.S. or other parts of the world, bring them to the territory. These are tech and knowledge-based businesses in order to diversify the economy. So we spend part of our time doing that and then the other part of our time is really focused on entrepreneurship. Uh, obviously, coming to the Virgin Islands, uh, some of these companies you're referencing would have to have you know, proper infrastructure in place and that kind of thing. What are some of the things that they typically need when they're thinking about coming to set up in the Virgin Islands? What comes with creating a satellite office, it's a lot of the things that, that Brava um, handles and introduces, right, which is you need some sort of infrastructure, right? You need, you need to operate the business in some way. You probably need some managed services, like all of these things that if you're not from the territory, you wouldn't easily be able to come here and navigate on your own, right? And so it's great to have a partner like Bravo to come in and work with those institutions, become partners and help guide them through establishing an office or whatever it is that they need to establish here. So that's one. And then two, we, we often find smaller companies, right? So smaller tech companies, just being in a tech space, you know that you can create a, a very successful, profitable business with, you know, 10, 20 employees, right? And so we look for those as well, but they need the same solutions, right? They need someone, a partner to come here and, and work with them to set up a new office, um, get their infrastructure set up, you know, have um, internet, have um, cybersecurity, all of those things covered. Um, from whoever their, their partner is in, in the U.S. Virgin Islands. What solutions does Bravo provide exactly that can help these companies aspire to set up, whether it be a satellite office or what have you in the, in the VI? What, what solutions do you have to offer for them? VIA has been around under different names over 60 years, so there's a strong legacy, and it means that we've built network over 310 mile, 10 miles of fiber um, between the three islands, you know, over 50 cell sites, 27 million alone invested in the last two years, right? So we have the backbone to be able to support these multinationals, some of them, as well as national companies that are coming into the Virgin Islands to enhance the economy. And coupled with that, right, what is connectivity these days without solid security, right? It's, it is a weak point, as we all know, and everybody, large and small, is vulnerable. And Brava's main focus in the next couple of years will be in our stronghold portfolio, focusing on the different facets of how to protect your business and your data, um, you know, using connectivity solutions and stronghold solutions. What do you see in the future, um, in days coming, as the technology solutions that you would like to have implemented in the VI that makes your job easier when attracting these foreign businesses? I think Dion hit on all of the important pieces, which is, you know, when we're talking to someone, one of the first questions is, is there reliable internet, right? You cannot move an organization or a group of employees anywhere in the world if there's not reliable internet, right? And so, 
yes, we have a solution for that, right? Um, two is cybersecurity, right? It's, you know, every week you hear about a new large technology or any organization, right, that's been hacked or, you know, some ransomware or something that's happening and now they're navigating um, through that, that experience, right? So everyone, security is top of mind. So being able to have something that people can use reliably and trust and, and not have to worry about it is important. Is my data secure? Um, where, where can I host things, whether it be in the cloud or, you know, most people aren't doing on-premise anymore, but they, they have the same questions. And so we aren't experts in that field. And so it's good to have an expert like Bravo who can come in. Excellent, thank you for that. And guys, thank you for taking the time out to join us for this interview. It's been very insightful. After listening to the two of you talk, Eric, I'm pretty sure some of those businesses that you're going to be going after can rest easy knowing they're in safe hands. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.